beautiful morning so far in Corpus Christi. Out here super early, and it's looking like we're gonna have some good conditions, dude. Pretty slipped off out there, so that means we're gonna be able to run out to our spots full speed. Even good old Corpus Christi Bay out there is slipped off, so yeah. And they told me I don't need to worry. Yo, how good does it look, dude? I'm pumped up. So the main target for today is some speckled trout. That means we're gonna be throwing a couple of different things. For sure, we're gonna be throwing some top waters, but we do need some soft plastics as well. So we will be throwing salt strong paddle tails. Gonna be throwing a couple different colors, the natural slam shady color, and also a throwback to the past when you had to throw pink to catch some big speckled trout. Now the cool thing is Salt Strong has a cool deal on these where you can get a free bag. All you have to pay for is shipping. So if you do want a free bag of these baits, check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. Oh. Girl, put your All right, should be able to fly. Go. Woohoo, boys. All right, fellas, we're in our first wade spot, and unfortunately, the water is a little bit churned up. I thought it was going to be really nice water for some trout. I think we're gonna go with a nice little soft plastic. Now where we're fishing here is a pretty interesting spot. We got potholes, we got deeper water, and what I like is it drops off to a little bit deeper and it still has potholes, which can be good if the water starts heating up. There's a fish. There's a trout. Okay. Not even a dink either. First fish, not a dink. That's a W. It's fine a little bit. It's a little red. Dang it. And it is a dink. A dinky little red. You tricked me, bro. You tricked me. I thought you were going to be at least a 17 inch trout. There's a fish. Ooh, there's a. Golly, he took my bait, dude. I don't. I don't know how he didn't get hooked. That's crazy. A color that used to be renowned for catching some trout. Pink. I've never really used it, but we're gonna try it out right now. And we know there's some trout here. There's some slicks popping up. There's one right there, actually. There's a little grass reef right here, and they're definitely running on the outside of it. There's a fish. That's a, that's a trout shaking his head up on top. Dude, I thought I was on some weeds, but he started pulling back at me. Not a bad one, dude. Is that our first trout? We hooked one before. But he freaking took our bait. Not this guy, though. The pink, dude. The pink is the way. It's a keeper. God dang it, dude. First fish of the day, we'll let him go. I wanted to keep him. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. Look at another freaking slick. Holy cow. There's a bite. Oh my god, dude, they're stacked up. I catch two in a row and I say they're stacked up. But they are, dude. We're on, like I said, we're on this uh, grass reef. And when they're on a reef like this, they're usually running back and forth. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. And that means you don't gotta move too much to catch some fish. They're liking the pink boys. And they still got a little bit of meat on their bones. You like to see it. They're not just uh, super skinny boys. 17 on the dot. Ooh, gotta get some 18, 19s. Oh man. Woo. Not bad. Golly. They're always giving me a shot. Dang, look at this. Oh my God, these fish are freaking jazzed up and that's a f thick male. He's croaking. What? Golly, usually those males are skinny boys, but he had a little bit of weight on him. All right, the pink boy, the pink boy finding his home a little bit. We're getting into the fish right here for sure. They're, they're running through. Now we just need to get in a couple, a little bit better ones, even though they're not, they're not even bad fish. Now that the sun's coming up a little bit, I can start seeing the edges of the grass and there's actually some nice, potholes mixed in. So we're gonna cast on the outside, but also in these potholes. See if there's any reds or big trout in them. Yep, yep. Oh, that's a better one for sure, right? 
the slicks, man. The slicks are paying off today. They're telling us what to do and where to cast for sure. That's a nice one. That's got to be a nice one. Half decent. This might go. This might be a decent one. Ooh, not bad, dude. Freaking head shaker too. Off that slick. You love to see it. Isn't that crazy? These fish just tell you exactly where they are when they put out those slopes. Just about 20 inches, man. That's a nice one. Nothing crazy, but man, you'll definitely take that, especially off a of slick. Usually you don't catch the biggest fish off of slicks, but not a bad one. We'll let that guy go. Switched up colors too. We switched that slam shady instead of the pink. I think the pink would have got him too. We just were in the right spot at the right time. All right, fellas, we're getting a little bit later in the day. We're wading through so many small trout. I've got the plan. Throwing on the top water. It's late in the day, the top water can still work. We are getting a little bit shallower as well. Hopefully, we can get some big blow ups on it. <clears throat> there might be a better one on top. That might be better. Please be better. I think it is, unless it's hooked weird. Which topwaters do as well, but. Ooh, it is, dude. Nice fish, dude. Finally got in here a little bit shallower, and that's a nice one. Hell yeah. I'm looking for my. Dude, that's a solid freaking fish. Toss on the topwater, and we hook up second fish on it. Catch this nice 19 and a half incher, and that guy is definitely a keeper. You freaking ate it up, boys. Super nice to catch this little bit bigger one. Me Look at it, dude, you got a little belly on her too, and it's not croaking. That's what I like, catching some bigger females. Right there, going on the string. Woo wee. We're getting later in the day too. We had a major right in the morning. I think that's why, we, I mean, I mean, I would say that's why we caught them in the morning pretty decent, but we've been catching them throughout. Finally, we got a little bit shallower, switched to the topwater spook at 11 a.m. and it gets us the big bite and we're definitely gonna keep throwing it here. Never lose belief in the topwater, ATT. Huh, <laughs> it might be my dad. <laughs> I think it's my dad. <laughs> You're coming to my spot, aren't you, you pot licker? There he is. That's another better one. Ooh, not even bad, dude. It's gonna be our second keeper right there. The top water, doing it late in the day. 19 incher, that'll do it. <laughs> the top water, boys. Late day top water. Always throw it. You gotta always throw top water. Look at this too. I'm over here just waiting out this direction in this boat right here. This guy gets out, starts waiting over there. Coming right for the fish that we just caught. The funny thing is, that's actually my freaking father. And I kind of took this spot from him. <laughs> and I should get these on a little bit quicker because there is a freaking black tip shark around. But dude, there we go. That's the two fish that we needed and wanted and that's all we need but yeah man i can't believe there's so many fish here it's crazy yeah there's a lot of fish cooper i came yesterday and it was slow there's a minor i think it's it's just starting now that's why i'm coming to fish about another hour yeah you can see the moon I yeah the moon's right there Be cooking up some fried speckled trout and you know what goes well with fried food is fried food so along with our fried fish we're also going to be cooking up something i just kind of discovered and like a lot which is vietnamese fried spring rolls right now we got a little cold front happening outside so not a bad time to cook up 
some fried food. First thing we're getting started with right here is our glass noodles. These are gonna go right into some hot but not boiling water. Bam. Just put those in this warm water just to let them whew, soften up a little bit. That water is a little bit too hot, but it'll work into some cooler water just so they don't get too soft. And then once they are in this cool water, I like to snip them up a little bit just so you don't have super long strands that make it hard to work with the filling. And one thing that's super important with fried food, especially stuff that's gonna be filled, is you wanna control the moisture as much as possible. So we are taking our noodles and then we're gonna dry them out as much as possible. Pretty much only two components to this spring roll, the wrapper and then everything inside. So we're just gonna be putting everything that is gonna be the filling inside this Red Bull. For our protein, we're going for some brown pork. You could also use shrimp, which I hear is good. I have never tried it myself. But since we already have some seafood, seafood with the trout, we're going in with some pork. Now we chop up a nice shallot, and then we'll be putting this inside the bowl as well. It's a big bowl. And you already know what we're doing, shallots. The shallots are going in the big bowl. Then some julienne and chopped carrots. Then we're seasoning it up with a little bit of salt, some ground white pepper, a little bit of fish sauce. I don't go crazy with the fish sauce. A little bit of sugar. And then the egg. You didn't expect the egg, did you? But the egg's going in. Woo! -hoo. Now we mix it all up in the big bowl. If you're a man, you just go straight in with your hands. You don't need gloves. If I had gloves, I would use gloves, but I don't have gloves. All right, our filling is ready to go. Let's start getting our oil heated up right now, and we will start wrapping up our spring rolls. We got our rice paper here. You do have to submerge it into water. Now, what I found that was super important is you don't want to put it in too hot of a water. I like to have the water just in that warm area. If you do put it into water that is too hot, it, it just gets super sticky, and it starts wrapping on itself super easily, and it loses all its structure. So just a quick dip, and this isn't going to be beautiful, folks. It's not going to be beautiful. Filling in and then just wrap her over. Try and make it as tight as possible. It can be tough though, I'm telling you. It can be relatively tough. Whew. Hey, definitely not perfect, but let me tell you, that's definitely not the worst one I ever wrapped. And when it's fried up, it don't matter. It's gonna be good. Now let's prep our speckled trout fillets that are gonna be fried up. Just gonna add some salt straight to the filet. Even though the fish fry is already seasoned up, I like to add a little bit. And you know what? Got to add a little bit of my man cayenne in there. It doesn't call for it. But can you ever go wrong with cayenne? Bang. Super simple. All right, we got the oil heated up and then we're just gonna drop our spring rolls right in there. Woo! It's gonna be nice. And we're just letting these guys go until they get a nice golden brown color and we will be flipping them on the other side as well to make sure they evenly cook up. In the meantime, we can get our paper towel plate ready to go, as we always do with pretty much any fried food. Now, finally, finally, we get to go in with our speckled trout. Good thing is we got our spring rolls cooling down, and this is gonna cook up real quick. All right, fellas, through it all, there it is, man. So we got some lettuce wrappers for our spring rolls. We've got our fish, some sliced lemons, some sweet red chili sauce for the dipping, and some cocktail sauce for the fish. Aww. Fish ain't too bad either. Of course, the fish is nothing special, just some fried up fish, but man, still tasty. How you know when something's really good though is it's better than the sum of the ingredients. And these spring rolls, man, insanely good. Hey fellas, don't forget, if you wanna get a free bag of baits, check the links in the description and also the pinned comment. And coming up here soon, we got some big stuff happening, so make sure to keep in the loop. I love you guys very much, we'll see you guys next time.